What's going on everyone? I told you guys we we're gonna play this game. We're gonna try it out today. I'm gonna see if I enjoy this game or not. I hope I do. Like I told you guys, I'm on the fence about this game mainly because the, of the setting. Medieval fantasy is not something that I indulge in. I don't really like games or any kind of media that focus on medieval fantasy for the most part. There's been a couple here and there that have intrigued me. I told you guys like Dragon Age and etc. So we'll see. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any tips, tricks, or advice for me, go ahead and comment down below and let's jump into it. The Witcher 3. Here we are, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I think it's time to just jump into it, see what this game has to offer me. What is this? Brightness? Put it right there. The game automatically saves your progress. Sounds good to me. I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. Oh, I see. Stands at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction. The trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves. Did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Oh, rituals. Like monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Oh, man. We chart a course back into the light. Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh. Is the time of madness and disdain. That gave me chills. Wow. Can we make sure that that guy that did the voiceover got a raise? He deserves it. That was fantastic. The way that he was delivering each line was amazing. All right, so we have graphics mode. I'm going to use performance mode for sure. There's new content. There's photo mode. Cross progression. So I could, I guess, play this on PC and continue on with my save if I wanted to. Integrated mods. What? No way. 4K textures and models. All right, cool. Yeah, I, I agree. Sure. 
All right, before I jump in, I got to make sure subtitles are here. I usually like to turn the music a little bit down when I play games. Just a tad, just a tad. I like to really be able to hear the voices. You know what? Let me actually change this too. Oh, that's much better. Thank you. Subtitles are on. Thank the Lord. Everything else I should be good with for now. I'll change things as I play the game. I have... I don't know how the game plays, so... I'll change it as I go, I guess. We also have the DLC, guys. I'm excited to play that. Let's jump into it. The Witcher 3. Blood and wine only? Fresh start. Start a new game of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt with any installed expansions included. Okay, I'll do that. Story and sword, you're happy to be challenged. I do like a challenge. You're a seasoned demanding gamer. So that's like hard mode. And this is like insanely hard. You're truly insane and loving it. Oh man, I'm really tempted to go on the hardest because I like playing games on the hardest mode normally. I should probably take it back to hard though, just because for the sake of recording and such, and I don't want to be like dying a bunch of times, you know, that's just a lot. I want to enjoy the game as much as possible. So let's dial it back a little. We are going to show the tutorials for sure. I don't know how to play that. Simulate, which I don't have that. Uh, sure. I'll just keep it on. <laughs> we saw this. We watched the trailer. Jeez. I want to know about you, girl. I want to know who you are. I'm searching for you. And who is that guy? Music's really nice.
Whoa. This looks really good. Witcher keep. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wait, what is that? Huh? That's in there with him? He doesn't feel it? You know I don't find that amusing. Oh. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. Look at all those scars on his back. So. Later then. Hmm. See you later. For sure. Okay. My man is eating. They're showing a lot of booty. <gasps> Wait, is that the woman that we saw in the trailer? Yeah, that's her. That's the lady from the cinematic. Oh, there's a connection here. Welcome to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This tutorial will introduce the game's core elements. Each message will be saved in the glossary where you'll also find detailed information about world lore and gameplay mechanics. That's going to be very important. We are going to read that, by the way. Yes. That is very important. The minimap in the upper right-hand corner of your display shows your current location in the surrounding area. Nice. Underneath the minimap, you'll find the objectives for your next quests or your active quests. Yennefer of Dude, look at this. Shit. Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. Look at this. <laughs> Man, this game came out years ago, too. I see someone training down there. Oh, look at the trees. The clouds, the fog and the distance. I think that's my favorite shot right there of the mountains and like you could see the clouds like dissolving into the mountains. It's nice. Wow. This game is beautiful. They did update this game recently. They gave us the uh, next gen update. So I guess I'm playing this game for the first time at a good time. I wanted to talk to her, by the way. What is this? Unlock locked doors, walk up to them and press X. I want to talk to her first. I can I can extinguish this. And ignite it, okay. Set the mood. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable want to stay with you a little longer I missed you a lot and I missed you but we'll have plenty of time to make up for that go and train with her then come back 
It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of oh. All the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Oh, good save, good save. <laughs> Such a good save. Isn't there something you ought to be doing? Not now. Siri awaits. Yes? God, she looks so good. She's very pretty. Can extinguish that. All right, let's um. Where's that glossary at? There it is. So we have the bestiary. Characters. Yennefer of Bengerberg. The Witcher first met the Raven-haired sorceress a good twenty years back. Their friendship and the feelings between them were born of a common adventure involving a genie and a wish granted to Geralt that intertwined their fates inextricably. In the time since then, their relationship had, however, been quite stormy. Rich in ups and downs, crisis and breakups. Geralt and Yennefer's love provides irrefutable proof of the thesis that opposites attract. They do. A few years ago, Geralt and Yennefer had, after a long separation full of adventures for them both, gotten back together again. Their moment of repose was interrupted by the wild hunt, which took Yennefer captive. The witcher set out at once to save her, but lost his memory while doing so. When he finally recovered it, he immediately set off once more on his quest to find his beloved sorceress. Geralt of Rivia. I need to read about him because I know nothing about him. Many cannot fathom the friendship Geralt of Rivia and I, Dandelion, have shared all these years. When we first began breaking bread together, Spiteful Tongue said he'd be better off cutting my throat and dumping my body in a hollow tree before I provoked someone else into doing the same to us both. Those individuals spoke out of pure jealousy. For Geralt was my dearest friend, a fact which he gave ample evidence of on numerous occasions. I could say a great deal about that world famous monster hunter, the man known in elder speech as Windbleed? Win Windbleed? Or in our younger yet no less noble tongue as the White Wolf. For Geralt of Rivia is a truly exceptional individual. A brief encounter might tempt one to label him a mere swinger of swords, a simple monster catcher, a rough and tumble practitioner of a dirty trade. But peer closer and you will soon discover he is a man of unplumbed depths, unique views and vast world spanning experience. On the surface, he is introverted, tight-lipped, one might even say gruff, but underneath lies an overflowing sea of goodwill, good humor, and an honest readiness to help his friends. Oh, he sounds amazing. Be it with a bit of sound advice or the masterful application of his blade. Setting aside cumbersome false modesty, I can say that I know his story better than any man alive. I was with him through hard times and good, helping with wise advice warm words, and razor wit. As a result, I am a vital part of his story, both in its earlier and present portions. It is thus my duty to com continue my chronicle and, for the benefit of future generations, put in writing the next chapter of his deeds and exploits. So this is the person that wrote it, Dandelion. I would wager anyone that you, dear reader, are a person of culture and taste. I guess so. And therefore, already familiar with me, Dandelion and the role I am to play in the following tale, I don't know. Nevertheless, allow me to sketch a few lines by way of self-portrait for the sake of thoroughness. And in the event you have spent much of the last half century in some dark corner where the light of my star is yet to reach. Born in 1229, a talented poet and troubadour, tr troubadour? A graduate of Oxenfurt Academy, a frequent performer at royal courts, an unequaled lover appreciated, and in some cases adored, by ladies worldwide, a skilled negotiator and a stirring orator. Such is the image of the bard, Dandelion, as painted by his friends and promoters. I wonder if we're going to meet him. The image is, of course, somewhat overbright in its coloring. I personally prefer to think of myself as a dedicated artist and thrall to his muse, one whose work has benefited immeasurably from the fact that I was, am, and forever will remain a close friend and steadfast companion to the Witcher, Geralt. It is his fate. 
I chronicle in this present work and his story, which I shall sing till the end of my days. Well, isn't that lovely? All right, we have books here. We have crafting. We can make things. We got junk. Oh, there's like things that we can make here. Ores, ingots, shards. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I'm pretty sure it'll give me a tutorial on all that later. We don't have any monsters yet. There's a bunch of tutorials here. All right. Well, at least the game gives you a little bit of backstory on everyone. So I don't have to run around here like completely clueless. It's kind of nice to know. Oh, wait, let's look at that. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Sounds good to me. The view is amazing. Imagine having that view at your house. That'd be lovely. All right, that's how I attack. Can I sprint? Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? Why? Time to wake up, master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too. <laughs> After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? She seems to be doing really good. I have to tell her. Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Maybe she's a little spoiled, but... I mean, why are we mad at her, though? Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. Of course. It has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. She's really flashy. Wrong. Whoa. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Oh my gosh, she's like Anakin Skywalker. So flashy with the movements. You're not in the circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? <laughs> All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Is that his daughter? Your triggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations. Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any Striga. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> Yum. Exactly. 
So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Yeah, let's do that. Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? To the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you oh, hold up. Oh. I'm not gonna let her beat me. Okay, circles the jump. Sprint is L3, but it seems like R2 does it too. Your mouth in rhythm with your steps. Where am I going? Siri, cut it out. I'm just running. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, wait. The map's telling me. Where's she at? I feel like I dusted her. Why don't they like her? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? She just doesn't I'm like to study. Sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. That's at true. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Seems like she's been doing her research. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if- But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Hmm. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Got him. Oh, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me. Lambert with Eskel. Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Uh, fundamentals because I don't know how to play should work on the basics even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals and Siri's barely a novice I love his necklace which is must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds be they plate clad knights ethereal wraiths or bone crushing giants to match the strengths and exploit the weaknesses of different enemies, witches need to use a variety of weapons and combat techniques. The core tools of their trade are their swords, one steel for fighting humans and non-humans, the other silver for slaying monsters. Oh. Witches have also mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as the spells wielded by mages, but they can be cast very quickly with simple one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Which are also adept in basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blade oils, and bombs, all of which give them a keen advantage when fighting stronger or faster foes. So alchemy, huh? And then we have signs, which are spells. Then we have our swords. Okay. I think I understand. We'll talk later. Press R3 to select or deselect a target. So we do have a lock on. You don't have to select a target during combat, but doing so can help you focus on a specific opponent. Okay. Fast attack, strong attack, dodge, and then we can cast our sign. Quick cuts. One, two, three. Okay, fast attack. Nice. Combat feels good. So far. Never lock your elbow when striking, young lady. Dodge. Position Siri. Footwork. Wait for him to attack. Oh, nice. You got it like a, a sidestep. Is there a roll? No roll. 
A roll? Oh, yeah, there is. Whoa. Nice. L2 to parry. He's fighting a dummy, right? Live later. Strike. Press L2 just before the opponent strikes to perform a counter attack. Oh, nice. Okay, let's try that again. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> Uncle Iro. <laughs> now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches signs. Let's start with Quinn. When? Come on. All right, what is that? R2. Okay, yeah, I know. Quinn is sometimes called the witch's shield. Now watch oh, a shield. To see why. Oh, nice. Certain critical effects? Okay. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. Igni deals fire damage. If not for the Quen sign, I'd be a flame by now. That looks fun. Hard, Come on. Oh, I'm burning him. Oops. Hard. Telekinetic blast. Like the force? Oop. See that, Siri? Oh, it knocks the, up uh, enemies to the ground sometimes. For Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. Axie. Influences opponents' minds. What? They're like Jedi's for real. Uh, Axie can really muddle your mind. Okay, disorient your opponents. That's probably perfect for like humans. A magic trap. Come on. Oh. See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. Oh, it slows them down. I see. Throw a bomb. Very cool. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. Oh, training bomb. Who's next? Ooh. Okay. I think I got the basics down. Makes sense. It seems like you have a lot of tools to your disposal, which we saw in the trailers for sure. Die. Sorry if I play really slow. I like to like really gather in like everything and actually look at stuff and enjoy the game as much as possible. All right, let's go here. Hold R1 and aim at one of the highlighted training posts, then release to throw the bomb. Oh, okay. So we can aim it. That's fun. Simply sheath your sword. Fine. Enough. Okay, so I can continue training at will. Let me uh whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, homie. You're going to make me wait. Come on. Okay, that's my parry. I fast attack. Let's try when Nice. That like buys me some time, I guess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There it is. I really got to get that parry down. Dodge is always easy in every game. Good. Oh, I'll get the parry down. Like, I'll be good at it. Give me some time. It seems like the window for it isn't that crazy either. Like, let's use Ard. Ooh. So there's no, well, I guess there is a block. This is technically the block. I was going to say there's no block in this game, but there is. Whoa, he knocked me over. That was cool. Well, that hurts me. Not bad. And we can roll like that. I'm gonna use Igni. 
Oh, wrong, wrong button. That's the button I was looking for. Okay, I just really got to get used to mixing it up in combat. Showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri? Uh oh. Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. What the? Oh my god. Why is it snowing all? Whoa! I've long awaited this, and you, White Wolf. No. I mean, I know he was dreaming. All right then, what a way to start the game. I like the armor he's wearing. Samaria. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? Take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. I dreamt of Care Morin. Started in the guest room at Care Morin. I was relaxing in a tub, and next to me. Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Oh. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. Mm hmm. True to life, indeed. Who is Triss, then? We'll find her. Then we trained with Siri. In the dream, I went and found Siri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Siri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Well, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. <laughs> and must meet soon. 
Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Stuffed unicorn? We used it as a bed once? That's private? What? Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. Huh? The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? I need to know what those certain situations are. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I smell it. Ghouls. Oh, crap. Life on the continent and in the Skellige Isles is nasty. Brutish and short. War lays waste to the land, and those it spares live in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with a silver health bar above their heads and indicating that you should fight them with your silver sword. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm glad that they like let you know. It's pretty cool. All right, what sign do we have? Let me try a Quinn right here. Just in case. All right. Oh, switching targets. Very simple and easy. Loving it. Can I block these guys? I have no idea. All right, let's use a different sign. How about Igni? Oh, my horse. Sorry, horse. Get him. Oh, nice. I love the gore. Seeing monsters get sliced in half. It might be the highlight. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wrong button. Nice. Striking opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline points. Your adrenaline points slowly decline when you are not engaged in combat. Armies pass necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. You can regenerate vitality by eating or drinking or by meditating for at least one hour. While playing on the blood and broken bones and death march difficulty levels, Meditation does not regenerate vitality. Uh-oh. So I have to eat or drink. Food and drink can be placed in your consumable slots for quick use during combat. Press up on the D-pad or down on the D-pad to consume them and regenerate vitality. If you have some food equipped in your upper consumable slot. Press up on the D-pad now to eat it and regenerate a portion of your vitality. Okay, so we can mount our horse. So this is my horse. What about looting? I can loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. I need all the loot. Yes. I love looting. Do my pockets get heavy? Oh, ingredients. Looting. Yes. Looting is amazing. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but I'm taking it. All right, let's go to the glossary. Can we? Yeah, we can. Vesemir. Vesemir is the oldest living member of the wolf school. And most likely the oldest witcher of any school on the continent. No way. About as long in years as the ruins of Fair Morhen themselves. And though eternally complaining about his creaky bones, this master of the witcher trade gave no thought to a well-deserved retirement. Gray but still spry. He continued to apply the mo monster hunting trade into his golden years, effectively too, as he'd seen more beasts than all his students put together. No way. A harsh and demanding instructor in Geralt's youth, over the years he had become something of an adoptive father, he kind of seems like it, and mentor to the other witchers, always ready to help with sage advice and steady hands. In the spring of 1272, when our story begins, Vesemir had joined Geralt on his search for Yennefer trekking with him through war-ravaged Tamaria. Lambert, the youngest among the witchers of Kaer Morhen, and perhaps the last ever trained within its walls, by the start of our tale, Lambert had proven his chops many times before. 
having hunted down many a mighty beast and traversed nearly all the continent's realms several times over. Eddie had also developed a reputation for arrogance and sardonic humor, and his gruff and at times excessively blunt manner could irritate even his fellow witchers of the school of the wolf. Whatever his vices, it went without saying that Lambert would brave the fires of any hell for his companions, which is good. That's good to have. Eskil. All witchers have a great deal in common, but with Eskil and Geralt, the similarities are particularly striking. They first met as two boys of the same age swinging wooden swords at Kaer Morhen. They then went through an ordeal together. The first round of selections, the murderous changes, the trial of the grasses, and training on the gauntlet. The witcher's daunting obstacle course. They also receive hidings together for more than one act of childish delinquency. When they became adults, they walked the path separately, but still reconvened at Kaer Morhen nearly every winter to wait out the cold. Drink to their successes and remember fallen comrades. Always oh, like his rival slash best friend. Though Eskil never gained Geralt's renown, he equaled the White Wolf in experience and carried out his contracts with care and efficiency. Death had almost taken him many times during his hunts, yet in an ironic twist, the hideous scars on his face came not from a monster's claw, but from the blade of... I don't know how to say that. His highly unpredictable, unexpected child. What? Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rionin. What can I possibly say about her? That we call her Siri for short. That she was born in 1251. That she has ashen hair and a scar on her cheek. All true, and that's the Cyrilla I know best. The one I first laid eyes upon those many years ago. The one who seemed thoroughly, well, not ordinary but certainly not as extraordinary as she, in fact, is. For Cyrilla is also a highly skilled witcher, heiress to several thrones, the last bearer of the Elder Blood, a powerful source endowed with exceptional magic talent and the Lady of Time and Space. Her hair color and date of birth seem rather incidental now, don't they? Hmm, they do. I could also tell you she is Geralt's adopted daughter. Adopted, so she's not like his true daughter at all. But that would be a gross simplification. Siri is much more. She is his destiny, his unexpected child, like how Eskil has one also. Someone bound to the Witcher by fate's most inextricably tangled fetters. Following age-old Witcher tradition, Geralt took Siri to Kaer Morhen when she came into his care. There he and Vesemir taught her in the ways of the professional monster slayer. It was then that her magic talents were first revealed, and they discovered she was a source. Ciri's gift proved a curse as well. Because of it, she would one day have to hide from the entire world, even Geralt. The thing about it is, it's like, this gameplay is really fun. I wasn't expecting it to be this smooth and responsive, but we can take this. Third skull in black crystal. Why do I think they ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Because it might be hers. Stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Over mountain peaks and trudge through thick bogs. Luckily, Geralt can always count on his horse, Roach. Why, Roach? Oh, nice. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Double press and hold X while moving to gallop. More is not exactly going our way. Whoa, check that out. The Northern Jeez. Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledge to restore the old borders. God. Win the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. Is he okay? Man. This is terrible. Work faster. Alright, let's get out of here. It's not looking good in there. Go ahead of me. I don't know where I'm going.
Well, that's that griffin they showed in the trailer. Oh my god, snacking on a horse. Gotta get the horses out of here for this. That wasn't good. Just snatch the hor the horse's corpse. Vesemir got messed up though. It's gone. Yeah. Come out. I like this guy's haircut. Oh, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. Oh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> like a reward, I suppose. Um. I mean, I do like money. Not gonna lie. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to just take money from him. Nah. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No, but there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there. Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea, especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Maybe it's time for him to retire. He's an old man. He's an old man. Greetings. Oh. Let me read that. Griffins. I, half eagle, half tomcat, just like on the Lord's crest. Except this un was carrying me dead cow instead of a scepter. Griffin attack witness, name unknown. Griffins were once only found high in the mountains where they would hunt marmots and wild goats. When humans encroached on their lands, however, griffins soon discovered a new source of much more plentiful and easier caught prey, cows, sheep, and shepherds. Though still wary of main roads and towns where folk with the means to hire a witch are likely to dwell, these half eagle, half wild cat creatures have gone from rarities to oft encountered pests known throughout the northern realms. Especially hated are the subspecies known as royal griffins and arch griffins. Oh, it even shows you what they're weak to. Including tips and strategies for how to how best to fight them. That's really cool. Let me What does this do? Oh yeah, you can look. So grape shot bomb Hybrid oil and Ard. Which Ard is the confusion sign, right? Oh, you have multiple items in your pockets. You can switch between them using the right stick. Oh, you can change the bolts with a crossbow. Okay. Guess I don't really have anything now, though. Oh, art is the telekinetic blast. Won't lose stamina while using this option to automatically follow a road. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest or the mountains, sure, but here? 
near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Oh, they won't tolerate theft and also won't look kindly on you accosting others. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements such as villages and cities. These are marked like that on your map. Examine them to learn about contracts, work for witchers, and local happenings. There's kids. Slower. Whoa. Look at those. They're so pretty. Gossiping about witchers? Oops. <laughs> this is really fun. Like, this game is actually interesting. I'm actually invested in what's going on and the characters and such. Take that down before there's trouble. Yikes. The coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. Temeria or Nilfgaard? My arse it is. Don't get beat up. <laughs> he sat right back down. He was like, hey, I don't got any power. This man holds no weight. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Yikes. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. We saw that. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? What she have? Behind the counter. I don't even know what money I have right now. Oh, I have a decent amount, I guess. Press X to make a purchase. Press circle to close the shop panel. This is what I have. This is what she has. Gwent cards. Yay. Catapult. I'm not going to buy those yet. That's used in alchemy. Oh, man. I don't have that much money then. This stuff's kind of expensive. Should I buy anything right now? Like currently? I don't know. Like maybe some bread like bread's pretty cheap i don't think i need as all of those but like maybe three of them oh wait okay maybe some drink All right, I'll come back. I don't want to spend all my money here. Let's talk to her. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin. Others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. there a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And, 
Seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Right. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Smelt. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travel. <laughs> Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. All right. Thanks for everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember. We'd rather not draw any attention. Fair enough, fair enough. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Hmm. Everything's all confused. Politics has come into play. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Oh. Well, not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. Maybe he's just mis uh, misremembering. Oh, this cat doesn't like me. Oh. Cats don't like witches, I guess, or they just don't like Geralt. <laughs> I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. What the heck did I do? Make use of the Axie sign. This sign influences people's minds, causing them to act according to your will. Oh my god, it is the Force, man. That's crazy. Jedi mind tricks. I don't want to do that. What if I get in trouble? Raven, woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Don't know. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. That could have went poorly. Once more, there are four factions. Four what? Factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own face cards. There are also special cards. Wouldn't you rather play war? It's like to be near dawn before you get your game in Minnogin. What a waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman, long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? <laughs> no facts interest me, not fairy tales. I mean, from what I saw in the cinematic, that seemed pretty true. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. 
I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. I mean, we need people like that, though. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war. Right. It's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. Facts. Or make it to Novigrad yet? War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's... I only know a little bit about it. I'll play, though. Why not? I'm usually not good at card games. Splendid. Here's how it's done. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know how to play. Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game that simulates this clash of two armies in battle. The players are generals and the cards are their forces. You will go first. Okay. You draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards, so use these wisely. Oh. So you only get 10 cards the whole entire round? This is a unit card. The number in the upper left corner indicates its strength. When placed on the battlefield, this value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. Icon indicates the row on the battlefield where the card can be played. Close combat, range combat, siege combat. Some unit cards have special abilities. This siege expert's special ability is called morale boost, which strength grants one plus strength to all units in the same row. That's good. Weather cards are a type of special card. They reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. Oh, so blizzard affects close combat what is that like night or wind and rain the start of each game you can select up to two cards to discard and redraw but let's skip that for now and go straight to playing all right then here's the battlefield this is your side this is your opponent's side for each turn a player may place one card on the battlefield or pass each deck has a leader the leader grants you a special ability which can be used only once during a battle, trigger the special ability at any given point by pressing square. Press X to select a card from your hand. Press X again to place it on the battlefield. Okay, so maybe I want to do... Let's start with close combat. Why not? Do we have anyone? This guy. Let's start off low. Let's see what they have. Number on the left by your icon shows the current total strength for your units. The number on the right shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. At the end of a round, the player with the highest total strength wins. You can pass by holding down triangle. Once you pass, you can play any more cards. You cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. To pass when you're confident you can win with the units you already have in play or to let opponent and save your cards for the next round okay there's two rounds and both players have strength oh, okay let's reset to zero got it i think i get it all right i'm just gonna test the waters here adds plus one to all units in the row excluding itself Let's do that. Nice. We have a lot of high number cards now. Maybe we should drop one 
just to kind of get a feel for him. She's pretty. Okay, Siege. What does this do? Does the string of all closed combat cards to plus one for both players? I'm gonna let it rain. We're tied right now. We don't want to drop anything in Siege right now. We got the rain going. Let's do this guy. Okay. I'm gonna do one more range. Let's see what he does here. Okay, he's matching me. So we have this for the close combat. I want him to drop a close combat. He's not doing it yet. You know what? I'm just going to pass. Let's see what they do. The player who loses a round also loses a life gem. The game is over once the player has lost, lost both life gems. All right, I lost. But we reset here. Let's try this. But they passed. So that means I can win here, right? All right, so I won. Easy. We got a, oh, we drawed. All right, what does this guy do? He spies? Oh, he counts towards your opponent's total. Okay, I don't want to do that then. I'm gonna drop this guy though. I have that card too. Your turn. I'm gonna drop this. We're gonna go all out right here. I don't want to put that spy card down because that would hurt me. This already is on there, so I'm going to cross my fingers. He doesn't have anything else. That's crazy. And I win. He might. Oh, he has this rain card, but we don't have anything in siege. He passed and we won. Ah, we won our first game. There's no shame in passing and letting your opponent win around. Sometimes it's better to save your cards for later. And that's what we did. Each deck also features its own heroes. Heroes are high value cards immune to the effects of special cards. These powerful cards can turn the tide of battle. That was actually kind of fun. Acquire more powerful cards by completing certain quests or purchasing them from vendors. And it's kind of easy to understand. It's nothing like wild. There's not like a ton of rules to it. You have a knack for this game. If you Apparently. find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple Shepin. trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Do I get anything for winning? A card or anything? Oh yeah, I did. Uh 
Oh. Cool. When one of your quests is updated, a notification will appear on the left side of the screen. If you're now, if you're not currently tracking the updated quest, you can press R3 to start tracking it. Got it. Who's this guy? Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. <laughs> Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries. Dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Okay. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Oh, he knows her. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. Was this the guy from the cinematic that bumped into her? Looks kind of like him, but maybe not. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. Oh. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too. To your health. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Ah, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? Is that any of his business? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. No. No. Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. He just disappeared. What the heck? Um. I haven't met anyone else important, I guess. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Sorry. My bad. Okay, they really want me to look at this Gwent card, so let me try it. Where is it at? This is my travel bag, inventory tab. That's important. Oils, potions, and bombs. All right. This is a lot of stuff to remember. And you can equip it. Cool. Okay. 
But where is my card? Oh, wait, look at this. There's a skill tree. I just don't have anything right now. This is meditation. Oh, Gwent deck is right here. Use this panel to manage your decks. Oh. For each of the four factions, Nilfgaard, Northern Realms, Monsters, and I don't know how to say that last one. Besides who takes the first turn of a battle, grants an extra card after every victorious round, wins any round that ends in a draw. Keeps a random unit card on the battlefield after each round. Okay. Each leader has a unique ability. Uses to turn the tide of battle in your favor. Leader cards that you do not own are locked. They will be available for you to use once you acquire them. Okay. The deck must consist of at least 22 unit cards. It can also contain up to 10 special cards. You can include more than 22 unit cards in your deck. Remember that doing so decreases your chance of drawing your most powerful card true. Deck is currently two unit cards short, as indicated by the red number. Guess we can do this one. I'll go with that. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Are we done here? See you later, Vesemir. Can I leave? Done drinking. Uh oh. This can't be good. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. <laughs> Look at that lady. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Jim no. Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Really? <laughs> okay. Come on. Hand to hand combat, let's go. Oh, you saw that parry? Disgusting. I thought I only fought one guy. Well, two. Wasn't there three? Your game state will be automatically saved when you reach certain milestones in the story. Still, you should save your progress early and often on your own. The world is full of predators, bloodthirsty beasts, bandits, and countless other dangers. Good point. I should save right now. Yeah, I should run around. Oh, this is that notice board they were talking about. <laughs> Armor, blacksmith, herbalist, alchemist, place of power, monster nest, armor's table, grindstone. Freak. What do you mean? I know what they named you at your cutting. What kind of name is that? Rations will only be distributed to supplicants able to document proof of their poverty. Thieves will be punished like any other thieves and to the full extent of the law. A soldier fled from the army camp under cover of darkness. They wanted uh, the wanted man, a recruit who recently volunteered to join his Imperial Majesty's service, goes by the name of Odrin. He claimed to be a... Uh, Idwini? By birth, but said King Henselt's misrule had convinced him to join the Imperial Army. He was part of said institution for a mere two days, but managed to eat and drink enough in that time for an entire regiment of dragoons. 
Anyone with information about this deserter's present location is to report to the garrison at once. They even give like a pretty decent description of him. Hey lads, there are any among you can lend me a plow? Plow? Thing is, mine smacked up against a stone in my field so hard it bent halfways. And may a fiend take me if I know how to fix it or plow my field without it. I don't have one of those. The high command fears the rotting bodies might bring contagion to the village. We can do that. Can I just take all these? He's in the great battle nearby. He's not returned to this day like many others you'll say. And you'll be in the right. But if he fell and I know it's like he did, I'd give him up to the ground the least like our fathers have done always to find Bastion. I, I guess I'll help. You all surely know the well in the ruined village and the devil that guards it with a jealous fury. If you don't, well, come ask and I'll tell you all about it. Devil? That doesn't sound like a good thing. Okay, well, let's go to this first. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got it nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? <laughs> some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! I'm sorry? So what can I do about that? Any suspects? <laughs> His face. Old damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to serve as their garrison. Bang dents out to plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I guess we can help him. Why not? I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. I do. All right, using my Witcher senses. I say to use Ard there. Oh, I can, um, hold on. Quest. Which one is this? This guy's, okay. If you guys want to give me any tips or advice, you guys can in the comment section down below. I'm okay with any help. Blueprints. I'd appreciate it. Hands. Large. Okay, so it's this way. Stinks of piss and vodka. Was the person drunk? Is this like a drunken rage? Did he get lit and then he went and did something racist to that dwarf? Burned his house down? Over here. Oh, it's this way. Look. There's a little canoe. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Huh. 
I know a lot of you guys were saying to stream this. I hate streaming games. And I, I, I mentioned that in my trailer video. I hate streaming games. Uh, games that I don't know, like fresh blind playthroughs, I hate it. I absolutely do not like it. There's people yelling at you at chat like 24-7. And it's just hard to concentrate on the game itself. And I like to move kind of slow and do things at my own pace. And the stream makes me feel like I can't. So I don't like streaming uh, playthroughs of games. And I know that's an L because a lot of people like streams of playthroughs. But I'm not a big fan of it. I just like to go at my own pace. Enjoy the game. Pay attention. What the heck? Hi. But yeah. I saw... I'm just letting you guys know I saw what you said. So... I need to go this way. Hmm. Can't decide. What's that? Draw it or no. Gotta make soup out of something. But Tosley said he'd not give his dog this water. Not with so many corpses rotting it. Sure to be poison. Sure? Not so sure. Who knows? Will you go to the well in hovel instead? Not in your life. I'd rather be ill than disturb a ghost. A ghost? Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Drowners? Alright, seems like they're going this Drowns way. Back to the village. Is it this guy right here? He's just standing here. We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches. But I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes. But I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? I I'll let it go half free. Half free. I like that. Let me have a look at your stock. You have some equipment. Some Gwent cards. I kind of like Gwent. I want some cards. I already have that one, apparently. Ooh, I like this. Clear any weather effects. But this is for Northern Realms. Gotta pay attention to the faction. Okay. Take care. Maybe I'll come back later. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Think those plums are wreaking havoc on my guts. they knocked his head off. so it were. Except it was some drowner that had sapped on the kid. Witcher had naught to do with it. What did the folk do? Ain't like they could have sewed his head back on. What? The banter in this game is crazy. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Ew, are you spitting? What is that? What's going on with you? Ew. Gross. I'm gonna walk right past you. Drowned this guy doesn't look too good. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa. Our arsonist's a charmer, too. Come on. Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non human. Sons of bitches all. And dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies. Do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? This guy's racist. Listen, we can work this out. Man. Like actually racist. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. I don't want your money. No, you're coming with me. I don't like you already. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp. Are you serious? Try me, peasant. 
I could use the practice. I don't want to kill him though. Am I going to kill him? I just want to beat him up. Pathetic. Cause he's like really dumb. <laughs> His little drunken fist. Not your legs, so let's go see the smith and take my advice. Don't try anything else. His nose doesn't look broken though. It Here should be all go. bloody. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap. You I knew your mom for years. Charged her nearly a copper. This is how you repay me. And y'all have history? Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No. Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. The Witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Oh, that's not good. We just sentenced that man. That's a lot for burning the house down, but I mean, that is messed up. Harsh as punishment goes, but deserved. You know, is it? I hated the black one. He didn't kill anyone. Else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And Oof. Save some things from I don't feel good about that one. Full still hole, so I'm sure I can buy something out on it. You need anything? Let me know. Give you a good price. I mean, that's nice, but that guy's dead. Like you to forge something for me. So he can forge stuff for me. Oh, each craftsman is going to have their own specialty. Interesting. I wonder how in depth the crafting is in this game. Well, I don't have anything for him, so. It looks like my swords are good for now. Maybe I should repair this sword just in case. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Browsers. This is crafting diagrams for us things. Okay, that's cool. I'll be back here then. Oh no, that thing sucks. I don't know if I really want to buy any of this stuff here because I'm like, well... What if I find it out in the wilderness, you know? Wait, was that like a, a saddle? It's 186 crown though. I feel like a saddlebag is really important. Kind of want this. Well, I'll be back. So long. Where the heck is my horse? Roach. What are you doing? Now listen carefully. 
You're Find never to mark. sing that rhyme you again. Glass, never. Right? It's Durban now. Not to play with Chetty no more. But Chetty's my Bam, best dude. mate. Chetty's a little fool. He'll get us all killed. If I see you with him again, and you'll regret it. That's horrible. You're a horrible father. Let's try this one. Freak. I'm so used to the Red Dead Redemption 2's horse controls. These ones are really loose compared to Red Dead Redemption 2. Alright, let's go. Full gallop. The world is very pretty. Hidden treasure, dungeon, place of power, monster nest, spoils of war, smuggler's cache, guarded treasure, abandoned site, bandit camp, monster den. You know me, I like going off the beaten path. I'm just like exploring, so. I can guarantee we'll be doing that sometimes. What the heck is that? Oh, it's level four. I don't know if I really want to mess with those things. I'm gonna leave them alone. We'll look for Bastion later once it's run, safe. Roach. <laughs> Do that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But I guess he's mine now. Aw, look at the puppy. Bastion fought the black ones in a battle just outside the village. I haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did. Lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. Bloody hell. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses. And corpses feeding. Someone told me they're afeard of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Horse shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Aww. Listen, guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. I'll help. Fine, I'll help you. Just been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. I would have thought, but I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Understandable. We'll on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. Please, don't hurt me. This is terrible. Oh my god. There's a burned corpse right there. Ours is a decent village. Stay away from me and my family. Bro, what family? My god. Don't touch me. Move it. Well, there is a question mark down there. I just don't want to mess with those creatures. They're like really high level. I'm only level one. Maybe this quest will help me out. Oh my God, look at that. That's terrible. Can I read this? Burying the bodies of hanged deserters and rebels is hereby strictly forbidden. Anyone caught trying to cut down hanging corpses will be summarily executed. Oh my god. So you just gotta leave them there. That's terrible. Imagine the smell. 
Ah. Oh. That is not humane whatsoever. A monster's nest? What's over here? Hold on. Oh, no, no, no. Get off. That's a lot of ghouls. What level are they? Oh, wait. We want the silver. Okay. Let's use Igni. Oh, man. No, 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 no. Job. Oh, oh, I got boxed. I legit got boxed. Load most recent save. I hope it auto saved. Let's try this again. I feel like we could have took them out though, for sure. There's a lot of them, but. Getting my bearings on like what the controls are like, that's gonna be a learning curve. Destroy it. You need a grape shot. Face the nest and press X to blow it up. I don't have anything. Guess I can't do anything with that, but I'll remember that. For the future. way there he is still running welcome sir he looked like he got a diaper on where are you going yeah, good bastion his body must be here somewhere among countless others want to examine them one by one could take a while you needn't fret the recruits from White Orchard painted a small flower on their shields so as to be able to spot each other in battle. There was just a few of them. We look for the flowers, we'll find Bastion quick. No offense, but many a soldier's dropped his shield, especially if he was on the losing side. If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on. Sooner we get this done, the better. Geralt doesn't seem like he really wants to help this guy that much. It's like a lost cause. And I understand, I mean, so many, so many bodies out there. And the war's just started. Ashes? An axe? Maybe I can sell that or something. I don't want to take people's ashes, though. That's kind of weird. I'm just out here looting axes. Water. Novigrad sword. Might be good. Looks like I need to go over there, though. Oh, there's ghouls. There's ghouls. Crap, 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 crap. Stay back, bro. Stay back. Let me handle him. Wait, is the dog helping me? What the heck? Be careful. <laughs> I wonder if this guy could die. 
That wouldn't be good. Reckon this ain't a good time to chat. Let's do what we've come for and get out of here. Yeah, let's do that. I was over here. Oh, what about this right here? That him? No. Vapor's son. Oh. That's rough. Oh, that's off. Can you smell Bastion, boy? Uh, still nothing. There's another one over here. That him? No. Vapor's son. Another neighbor's son? Look at all this water. Can you smell Bastion, boy? Still nothing. Still nothing. Oop, didn't want those ashes, but sure. Let's get back over here. I'm just out here looting. I'm just taking a bunch of stuff. I'm just like, I'm going to sell all this stuff. It's like, why not? Oh, here's another one over here. There's another one over there too. Doesn't look anything like him. What about the dog? Come on, Hassar. Can you smell Bastion, boy? No. Uh, still uh, skin's burned off. Might be hard to tell, I know, but could this be him? Oh, yeah. Bastion was big, broad shouldered. This one seems smaller. But maybe it's the fire did that. Oof. That wouldn't be good. He found him. Hassar's caught. He's sent. Come on. What? Okay. I'm following the dog. Oh, all the way in here. But there is more. My is he alive? Commanded, we defecate on command. Ballista bolts landing all around, and all he could say was, "A soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield." Now, shit, that is an order. Can you believe it? The cretin. Stop! Oh, you're oh, you're killing me. My my ribs. Oh, it hurts to laugh. That needs a tourniquet. But first, want to explain what's going on here. Bastion! Is he? Has this Nilf Guardian captured you? No. He saved my life. I, I got a cut to me side. And then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rosinia found me as, as he crawled across the battlefield. Oh, wow. His legs twisted. And so we were. A blind man leading a cripple. Found this place. I'm taking you home. We need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rose in here. I'll own he'll die. And he can't go back to his own. He's deserted. They'll hang him. And what if they find him with us? They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the Blacken stays here. I mean, he helped him. He saved his life. Maybe you do owe him this, at least. Bastion only made it with the Black One's help. Maybe you want to show him Nordlings aren't as barbarous as Nilfgaardians make us out to be. Right. Well, I could give him our pa's clothes teach him to work the field but that accent fine i'll take him in as you should thank you witcher your reward and the gods protect you thank you so much sir i like what we did there i feel like that was some decent closure to that quest
Let's walk over to Roach over here. Go, go. All right, we're going to do another one. Complete your collection of Gwent cards. I love it. All right, let's try this one. I think we got to go back though. Oh. Oh yeah, we would have been dead for sure. <laughs> would have ran right off that cliff and it would have been a wrap. Move it. Wait, why are we doing that? What happened? Run, Roach. Feel so bad for the woman crying. Oh wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Something's over here. Under the bridge? I'm gonna get my sword out just in case. Hello? Whoa, look at this. Look at all this stuff. It's ours now. Hole. Nice. Okay, I'll take the free. That's it, Roach. The free materials is nice. Why not? Might as well. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. We need to stop. We need to talk to that dwarf when we come here. All right. Yeah, let's go over here. Let me see if I can sell those axes I had. Well, show me what you got. I have all these swords. I don't want these. They're not as good as my swords. Yes, sir. You can have them. Where did all those axes go, though? Can I not give them to him? Oh, okay. Okay, so I can dismantle items also. That's nice. That'll really help out. Okay. So long. And do not play with Chetty no more. But Chetty's my best mate. Chetty's a little Chetty. Get us all killed. I see you with him again and you You need to go this way. Oh, look, I'm getting sidetracked. There's something over here. Anyone home? What's this woman doing? Lost your key, ma'am? No. Not me key. 
me pan. Little Pan sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like twere his own. He was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. Oh. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? Jesus. He just asks all polite, Gran? Got any birch bark by chance? Like he stepped back. Or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I see he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. I was right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Okay. Well, uh, then what happened? Interesting. Give me the tea. What happened then? Afore dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Okay. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. Some objects can be destroyed. Such objects are marked with the R sign. You can also try hacking at them with your sword, but note that not everything can be destroyed in this manner. Toss a grape shot bomb at the object. That sounds cool. Okay. It looks like I can use Ard here. Nice. Can I loot? Or will that be stealing? No one's yelling at me. A corpse explains the stench. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. What's that, dearie? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Phosphorus. Oil. There's some good stuff in here, Grandma. Oh, I just took that. Ew. I probably didn't need that. Blunt crossbow bolt. Cool. I think that's the pan she wants. Documents almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going bar me. I did risk my life in the entire blasted operation and ended up standing there with my plowing cock in my hands, waiting for nothing. Thought the Nilfgaardian army was better organized than that. But you, illegible, tell that blessed Lord General of yours that me and my companions don't hold grudges so we won't break off negotiations. But since our old plan's gone, tits up. This time we'll choose the time and place for the next meeting. Huh, the priceless frying pan. Huh, scrubbed clean. Hey, it's clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. I'm trying to figure out who this mystery man is. If he's not related to her. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. 
and I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... and the other fellow? Dead. Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny. For the road. Fry up a nice white fish for some. All right. Something's dead out here. Rabbits. Wait, what is that? Oh boy. Oh boy, that's not good. That is not good. We gotta go. Oh my goodness. I was just out there and they were ready. Wait, why did I upset the guards? What did I do? What the heck? I was just fighting off those wolves like I should. Why do they need to be upset? Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. There's a wraith. I can't fight that. Level six? Whoa, that thing is crazy. Uh-oh. Okay, I will. Oh, Jesus. Nice. Um, yeah, this. Your Lord. Maybe level doesn't really matter that much because we're beating these things and they're like level four or five. What happened? Monsters, monsters from the swamp. Folks said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened and how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump. I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Yikes. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck. Devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me. I beg you. I'll find it. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. Alright, let's track it. It's not too far away from us. Cart tracks. Rode off into the swamp. There's a lot of things out there. Yeah, I hear the the bubbling. And I don't like it. Hey yo, hey, hey, hey. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with that. Those are bees. Here's the cart. Carts riddled with arrows. Interesting. I should take a look around. Horses are dead. Oh, look at that thing right there. It's hunting me. Wolfsbane. Diamond dust. 
flowers. Riddled with arrows. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Silver sword for these? I don't know. We're, I guess we're about to find out. Whoa. Yeah, it looks like it. Whoa, dudes. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa! Look at that thing! What the heck is that? How long are you gonna make I'm dead. Wait. This is nerve wracking. This game is so nerve wracking. I'm gonna fight this one. Lost your nerve? What? How did it do that? Whoa. All right, let's just try to fight this one. Fighting two is a lot. Nice. Drowner brain. Yeah, so these enemies aren't as hard as I thought. Well, if you get ambushed by them, I guess they can be a lot. All right, where's this box this guy's looking for? It's got to be around here somewhere, right? Do you use Igni on these? Do they blow up? Yes, they do. Pretty cool. I just saw a box over here. Must be that box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood. There's a drowner, right? Oh, there's two. I kind of don't want to mess with them. But why not? Let's do some practicing. him oh what are you about to do okay it looked like it was about to go for an attack of some kind nice ah oh, there's a parry love it i'm getting used to the combat it is time i'm definitely getting used to it now all right, let's go this way. Anything else that I can pick up while I'm over here? Grab that. What's that noise? I heard like a dog or something. You find the box? Yes, sir. A little wet, but intact. At last, fortune smiles my way. Yours as well, Witcher. Here, the gold I promised you. Happy trails now. Cool, we're getting so much money. Let's keep going this way. I haven't done any main quest yet. That's it, Roach. Uh, kind of stuck, Roach. All right, let's just go slow, 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 slow. There you go. Poor dark and putrid. Is it true? Northern women bathe but once every three moons. Once every three moons? I would hope not. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look 
like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. We must requisition the share of your harvest. Craftsman can craft a variety of items for you. I know that. If you find a crafting diagram, take it to the craftsman of the right type and skill level to have them craft the item for you. Password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walkie, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we have a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters. They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? He is. Got a knack for that as well. Show me where you're peddling. Well, he might have some good stuff here. Hold on. A new silver sword would be nice. I don't have that much money, though. I feel like everything I have, I could, like, dismantle and make... He has a lot of crafting diagrams, too. Morale holding up around here? You boys think you can win this thing? Ah, a spy after all. Or one to stir trouble. Neither. Just curious. Right. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Incidentally, did you wish to buy something? <laughs> I like this guy. So long. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? He's like, uh... 40 bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give 30, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it, and then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. 
too big a hassle. No, too high a risk. Ah, uh, understandable. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands or hire a professional. That's me. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. I like his armor. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. <laughs> a little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. Oh, wow. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Geralt is like bold, Tomira, man. Miss Love. Thanks. Es sun diakten. Es vairi. Eri 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 es mar. What is this? Es in a bar. Let's think a fight at the valley. I need to get out of here. I've kind of made them mad. Oops. Who's out here making everyone mad? I'm gonna save. It's been a while. Once discovered, signposts allow you to travel directly from one location to another. Walk up to a signpost and press X to fast travel. They didn't know that. That's nice to know. The Emperor shall guide us straight to Novira. All right, Roach. Move it. Let's get out of here. Let me change the quest. I wanted to do this Witcher contract. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this horse riding is hard. Let's go. I thought Red Dead Redemption would have trained me for this moment. Almost there. Here we are. Odalon. He's in here cooking. Man, having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye, tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty. Ah. Uh, you put out a notice just it's now. It's haunted. Because earlier on we drew our water from the river, but so many corpses floating in it after the battle has turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher, felt dreadful ill, can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. That's not good. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink, 
and not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And don't let any man near. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Oh, man. I meant don't tell me that. Like. It looks like a woman. Oh. But fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones. Ew. Howls like it's suffering. Some wraith. Or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master. If you don't take care of it, that is. It'll come kill me daughter. Alright, we'll do that. I feel for you. But this is my job. So let's talk about my pay. Something not right with the coin. The haggle for a higher reward? Choose an amount? If your counterparty accepts your offer, you've made a deal. If your offer is too high, your counterparty will grow annoyed. Push too hard and he or she will break off negotiations. I don't want to go that high. Let's go like 24. That settles it then. Okay. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now. No one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. I'll try my best. Devil by the well. Run, Roach. Let's go, Roach. Gotta take out a ghost. It is nighttime. I'm a little nervous. The infamous well. Strange. No sign of a ghost. Maybe it only shows at a certain time of day. Grass around the well scorched. That's no good. Grass around the well scorched. What's over here? Alchemist powder. Oh, I thought I heard something. I got scared. I don't like this area at all, guys. There's a book over here. A diary. Journal. Might be useful. It's happened. Volker sent a petition to our grievances against the Lord to the court at Vizima. Listed all the harm he's done us. How he killed Joanne for not taking off his cap quick enough. Or Johan. How he trampled our uh, fields when drunk with nary a thought of repayment. How he barged in during Peter's wedding and demanded his right of the first night. Now we finally got what we begged. Melitel? Or in our prayers for so long, the judge recognized our grievances and waived all our bonds and duties to the Lord. We can finally strike out on our own. At last, we can live as free men. First day of our freedom, I was not much of a village yet, but to my mind, it's better than the most fantastic palace. Volker fumed our home with hazelwood smoke to drive out evil. Buried a marten under the gate to make sure no thieves cross our threshold. And then he gave me a bracelet. Loveliest I've ever seen. Mother said it's foolish to spend so much on a bauble when he when we haven't plows nor nor hose and that we ought return it to the merchant over my dead body. I'll never take it off. It'll always be there to remind me of Volker, of how happy we were that day. They say the Lord is coming to see us. That he wants to make a deal to beg us to return to the village. They say he's calmed since his son died. That he's not as quick to anger about small slights. Well, we'll see. One way or another, I have no intention to move one inch from here. A black magic doll? That means voodoo was probably practiced here? Possibly? 
And that would be no good. Did somebody summon a wraith? Florence. It's spooky out here. When did this turn into a horror game? There's a doll in here. File. File. What's over there? Can I even get over there? I don't know. I don't think there's a crouch button. There's a rabbit over here. Oh, there we go. Linen. A pipe. Water. That's it. Nothing else. Interesting. Anything else out here? Silver ingot, bread. That stuff's nice to have. Oh, look at that. All right, well, maybe we want to meditate for a while. Let's try it. I don't know, maybe in the morning. I don't see anything. Can I jump in the well? Whoa. Okay. Didn't think I could do that. There's actually something down here. All right, I'm gonna go over here. Oh, wow. There's a skeleton down here. Is somebody talking? I think I hear voices. What in the world? And the game was on sale too, which really helped out price wise. All right, so I think I need to go back the way that I came. Lucky not to come up empty handed. A bracelet with an inscription to Claire from Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. Good detective work. She seemed to really like that Volker guy. Seemed like he meant a lot to her. I think my taste in video games and media has kind of changed also. I've definitely been a lot more open-minded. And what I mean by that is like, I've been going out of my box a lot more and like playing games that I wouldn't normally play. Uh, 
let's get out of here. Can't go that way. I can just run back. It's right there. There's a rabbit there. Oh wait, here we go. A corpse hanged by the bucket rope. Bring the corpse up. Woman the journal belonged to must be. Wide pelvis, small jaw. A woman. Around thirty, judging by the teeth. Left arms missing. Was she wearing this guy's good from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Wide pelvis, small. Oh, we saw that already. So where's the spirit at? Maybe we need to wait some more? Maybe like around here? Oh! Oh! A noon wraith? Strange. She's not attacking. Alright, let's read about noon wraiths. Despite what is commonly thought, peasants do not interrupt their labors at midday to get out of the sun. They do so to avoid noon wraiths. <laughs> On particularly searing summer days when the sun reaches its zenith, Race will at times appear, resembling sun-scorched women, women dressed in long white robes. These are noon race, the spirits of young women and girls who died violent deaths right before their weddings, driven mad with pain or anger. They wander the fields, searching for their unfaithful lovers or backstabbing rivals. Though they will not, oh, though they will kill anyone who does not get out of their way in time, they are often held in this world by some object. Of intense emotional significance that bracelet that is why if one ever finds a wedding ring or torn veil in the middle of a field one should not pick it up but instead back away as quickly as possible okay we need to use this sign specter oil moon dust bomb do I have some specter oil I don't know let's take another look Lovely craftsmanship, but I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the noon wraith for good. Better do it near the well. Let me see if I have any specter oil. I don't really think so. Yeah, this is the only, like, oil I have. Could I craft it, though? Here it is. Oop. Oh, here we go. Oils. Nah, I'm missing ingredients. I need Arenaria. Need to prepare for this fight. Brew some wraith oil. Drink some potions. I wonder where I can get that. Okay, so I have exactly what I need for this fight. Now, what I need to do, first of all, is craft this oil. Yep. There we go. And then... Um... Inventory. Oils. Oh, you just put it on your sword. Okay. 
So it's on there now. Cool. Alright, now let's burn it. And the bracelet. Igni. There she is. Oh God. I'm a little nervous. I think it worked. Whoa, it definitely worked. It definitely worked. Jeez. I added oils to my sword. Okay, wait. I know there's a cast sign. I think it's this one, the magic trap. Okay. I should work on her. Just gotta stick inside of it. Jeez. Let's do it again. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? What the heck was that? Okay. God. This is a tough fight. It seems like the heavy attacks do really well on her, though. All right, we need more oil. Yeah. Need a little bit more. Cool. There it is. Uh oh. She did this again. That's no bueno. There we go. Where is she? Let's do that and then that. Is she dead? Yes. Oh, we did it. She's gone for good. Wow, I feel so bad though. Her story was sad, but we had to get rid of her, unfortunately. Come on. It's for a better cause, you know. Hopefully she can move on. Oh, that's really cool how the horse just auto runs. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. I'm around. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Oh. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, there's hope for it, at least. Aww. Man, I'll do it. At this point, doubt I'll ever marry. You keep the coin from Mandy, her wedding. Raise a toast to my health then. Thank you, Master Witcher. I'll be nice. These warm words, you've a good heart. But I can't let you go empty handed. Take this at least. Good luck. Hey. Well, that's nice. Appreciate it. 
That's it, Roach. At least we still got a reward, even though I was trying to be nice. All right, let's see what this guy has to say. That was our first like Witcher contract. Must be out hunting. Let's see where he's at. The trails fresh. His love just left home. Let's take it slow. I love how you can hear all the animals and such slightly like moving through the leaves and such. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. No why? No, no, I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye, they've learned much I didn't know that. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. Enough guardians the griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm hmm I'll show you, sure, but uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Let's do it. Sure. Well, let's do it. Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now. Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, gut stuck to the too late. Attacked uh -oh. another one. Let's do the steel sword. Um Igni. I hate to be that person, but like the combat kind of reminds me of Dark Souls a little. <laughs> I hate being that person. The reason why I say that is because I feel like you can't just go in swinging, you know? You, you got to swing like a couple of times, do some dodging, swing a couple of times, do some dodging. You can't get greedy with it. And oh, wow. Oh, wow. What the heck? What was that all about? Look, even the dogs like know how to dodge. Nice. And like every swing counts. So you, if you're just recklessly swinging, you're leaving yourself vulnerable. Dieter. You know him. We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before. Well, a long time ago. Hmm. Before what? Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. It doesn't I sound like a whole bunch of nothing. It. I'm a freak too. I, but of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. 
It's usually a simple curse. The that... Lord's son, Florian, and I. We loved each other. Oh. Dieter walked in. Well, that's nice. They drove me away. Aw. Florian hanged himself. Aww. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. That's terrible. That's not... You're not a freak. I'm sorry that happened. I'm sorry. Uh, ancient history now. Aww. To show you where Poor guy. Guardians. Come. No one should have to go through that. Griffin, know anything about it? You have gained a certain number of experience points. You advance to the next level. You get experience points for killing monsters and completing quests. You receive ability points every time you gain a level. Using these points, you can acquire new abilities or improve ones you already have. It's really nice to see the human characters going through actual, like, real life, like, social problems, you know? It makes them feel even more real. What do we have here? Fast attack damage increased by 10%. While aiming the crossbow. I guess I'll try this one for now. Okay. Cool. Not my kind of game. Mutagen, huh? You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. Poor guy. I like this guy. Feel bad for him. Twas here. One lay there by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to. Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Nelf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black. Saturated with blood. A camp. I love how subtle that... That issue, that guy, that... Like, what he was having was, it was just like, you know, this happened. And this is why. And it, like, moved on. He didn't have to, like, over-explain himself or anything like that. It wasn't like this huge spectacle. Heavily armored. Guardians, probably. All right, there's something down there. There, dude, there's like wolves out there or something. Oh, nice. It's definitely good stuff. Oh, I made the jump. Nice. Hopefully, those wolves don't come this way. Ah, uh, did I miss something? Now it's telling me to go this way. We're fine. I think I need to go up.
Whoa. It seems like they're getting closer. Oh, there it is. Nice. Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. Whoa. Female. Larvae in her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first. They shouldn't have did that. Calling the area. I'm not underestimate your opponent. This rule is at the core of the Witcher's Code, and for good reason. Proper preparation has saved many Witcher's lives. If it is likewise worth your while to brew potions, concoct oils, or visit craftsmen before engaging in combat. We can forge armor and weapons and such like that. If you expect to battle a strong opponent, you might want to complete some side quests before attacking. This will allow you to gain experience and develop your character, giving you a better chance of winning the fight. Burned. Only a human could do this. Place of that power. portal should draw from it. One ability point. Yay. I think that's the one that I saw earlier that I didn't stop at. All right, so I'm going to leave you guys off with this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I had a great time playing this first episode. I feel like this is going to be a game that I'm going to enjoy a lot. I'm ready to invest in this game for the long term. I was just wondering if this was going to be a game that I'm actually going to want to like play for hours on hours because it doesn't seem like a game that's going to be beaten in like you know 30 hours or 20 hours or something like that like this is a game that i'm going to have to play for maybe like 100 hours plus right so if that's the case i want to make sure i like the game so we're going to do another episode see how that does and see if i like it then but right now i'm feeling good about it i'm feeling like this might be a game that i'm actually interested i love the characters i love the combat i love the world of the game, the politics and such like that, and the way that they handle like social issues and such. It is a really awesome game so far. I can see why a lot of people like it. I love that I barely even did the main quest in this episode. And I'm just like seeing, you know, all this really cool stuff. Like every side quest mattered and it had like its own story that was interesting and intriguing. And it like introduced you to monsters that you're probably going to be fighting in the wild in the future right but in a really fun way instead of a boring way where it's just like yeah go here kill this noon wraith and then dip you know it actually had lore to why that noon wraith is there and what she's doing and you know what she did in the past life or you know like just like running into quests as you're going you know looking for your other quests and that's fun so that reminds me of like red dead redemption 2 there's just so much to this game that is great like it reminds me of red dead but rpg and i love that and i'm glad that i went from rdr2 to now this game i feel like that was a really great transition <laughs> it feels good so hit that like button if you guys enjoyed give me any advice tips tricks whatever you guys can in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in the next episode of the witcher 3. hope will never die Orale.